Good morning and welcome to The Good Witch. This is your January 2020 Sagittarius reading. So, Sagis, hopefully this one loads. This is the third one for you guys. And I reshuffle to see if they're going to say the same thing or not. Most of the last two times they did, but it it didn't load still. So we're going to see again. It's going to be a surprise to everybody. Well, not really, because I'm I'm assuming that it's going to say basically the same thing. Just a different with a different storyline. So please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I have a feeling that a lot of you are dealing with some indecision lately whether it comes to work and finances or love and relationships oh bandersnatch came out to play with you he hasn't come to any other readings don't knock over my camera y'all know in the when i first started doing this if you've been following me for a while that the cat would come out sometimes when um people were going through a lot of, they had a lot of different prospects or opportunities for growth. So sometimes he would just come sit on the cards. Let's hope that doesn't happen today. <clears throat> so this is your love. This is your finance. And this is your personal growth. We've also drawn cards from the Moon Oracle deck and the Tarot of the Orishas for clarity later. Well, later on in the reading. Okay. So you have the Four of Cups, the Nine of Discs, and the Five of Wands in reverse. So, it's similar to the other readings, but not precisely. You're getting what you asked for in a sense of you manifested something into reality that you're not sure you want it. So you're stable, you got what you wanted, but you have some inner conflict. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Ellen, I do have a cold. That's why I keep clearing my throat, excuse me. You, um, you're having some inner conflict because there's some things you haven't healed from. Maybe someone that you haven't let go that's preventing you from being 100% there for what you did ask for. But your love relationship is good. It's very happy. But you're still, you're undecided and you're fighting with yourself. You're trying not to though. You feel like you healed from this situation, this past situation and this person, but the thought still lingers. We'll look into, we'll look into why now. I don't, okay. Y'all know I listen when I do my readings. That's not always how I do things, but I listen. Okay, so this person that you're thinking about was someone that you thought you would have a ha happily ever after with, but it didn't work out that way and you were very disappointed. You guys lost a lot of your sexual energy with this person or <clears throat> there was a lack of sexual energy with this person, although everything else might have seemed right. You just couldn't get that sex life right. There was... There was Maybe the longing for sex, but not the action. Maybe there was distance. Maybe there was too much distance. 
you still see this person as a king or a queen, but they're just not around. You guys shared like an in and out kind of energy, like here today, gone tomorrow, we'd be together for a month or two or three, and then we'd be separated for a year or a month or two or three. But you were always in each other's minds. And, there, and it was never going to change. You were never going to be stable with this person. You felt powerless. You changed your focus to this other person because this, to a new person. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because the person that you were with didn't seem to make you a priority. You fell in love with this new person. This new person was very emotional. He is very emotional. They talked about they talk about their emotions a lot because I feel like they're still present. They're not going and they don't want to. But you feel like you're failing them. You're failing them because you don't feel a hundred percent in it. Me <clears throat> That's what took me so long to get these readings up this month because I've been dealing with that. Um, sorry. So you feel like you're failing them because you're not 100% in it, but you do care about them. One of you wants a new beginning. I feel like the current person wants to refresh and renew and this old person might be trying to creep around again, telling you they want a new beginning or, you know, just trying to keep themselves relevant in your life. Lastly, you got the devil card. Nothing's really going to change. And you know that with this person. Like you see it, you want it to change, but it's not really going to change. This may be like a really stubborn, maybe a Capricorn, Taurus energy, possibly even a Gemini. But they're like a ghost from the past. <clears throat> and they don't want you to know that. They don't want you to feel that way about them. They want you to feel like they're ever present, but they're not. You can let them go. You need to let them go so you can move on with this new person. Even if you haven't seen them, get them out of your head. Reject them from your thoughts. Focus on this new one. Focus on this new person. And I'm saying new person. This new person could be, have been around for 15 years, but you still have somebody from 16 years ago on your mind. Or this new person could have been around for, you've known this new person for 20 years, but you were deeply in love with this old person six years ago, and you broke up a few, maybe two years ago, and you finally gave this person that you've known for 20 years a real chance to get to know you and to fall in love with you. And they did. But you keep... Reflecting back on that person that you were in love with for so long. It's like you're, you possibly have love for the new one, but you're not falling over yourself in love, infatuated with them. Which isn't always, it's fun, but it's not always everlasting. Fear's telling you I really want to look into your love life some more, maybe with another, possibly another scenario. Let's do that after we look at finance and personal growth. So with your finances, <clears throat> you have the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Knight of Disc in reverse. So it looks like you have been 
very stable. You were successful in something that you were doing and something that you wanted to do. You wanted something new or you're going to want something new. Like a new beginning in some area. Not that you want to wipe the slate clean, but you just, you feel like it's time to grow. You know, that new year energy. And you're afraid it's going to be an, an uphill battle. Like, you're scared to do it because you're scared it's going to be a struggle. Okay. But... It's not. <clears throat> You're going to have to remove your emotions from it. You're going to have to think very clearly. And you're also going to have to step outside yourself. I feel like some of you have been wanting to do something to change. But because you are so stable and you do have that Ten of Cups energy where everything is good, you're, you're scared to change it. It, but it's disturbing your peace because you know that you want something else. But you'll still end up with that Ten of Cups. That's dope. Like, literally, the same card that's on the top is on the bottom. And you can have your blank slate. You can have your new beginnings. And you'll still end up with your Ten of Cups. Because you're going to think it through. You're going to step outside yourself. You're going to take the necessary steps to make sure that what you're doing is going to work out. It's not like you're going to jump off a plane without a parachute. You're going to make sure that, you're, that you have a parachute, that it's fully functioning. You might even have a backup parachute and a floaty. You'll be fine. You've been thinking about it long enough. If that, if that was for you, if you're, you've been thinking about it, you've been thinking about it long enough. Go ahead and do it. The universe has your back, but you're going to have to get rid of the doubt and the fear because you're blocking yourself with that. Let's see what's going on in personal growth. What lessons are there for learn are there to learn for Sagittarius in this January of 2020? Huh. There doesn't always have to be a tower moment. Something doesn't always have to go wrong, okay? I feel like some of you feel like you have premonitions about things going terribly wrong. It's not really a premonition in most cases. That's just fear. That same fear that's keeping you right here. That same fear that's stopping you right here. That's just fear. You're getting way more than what you asked for. You get way more. <clears throat> you get way more than you asked for, but you're not getting nearly what you deserve because you won't step away from the fear. You have a six of cups. And you have to learn how to enjoy the six of cups. And stop being afraid to lose one so that you can get the Ten of Cups. Okay? You got the Ten of Cups twice in your finances. But you're so worried about fear that you're stuck at the Six. Now, there is nothing wrong with a nice, comfortable Six. But if you can have a Ten, if a Ten is destined for you and calling for you, you want to just stay at a six because you're scared or you don't want to do the work because you're scared you're going to fail. You may fail. I'm not saying that you won't. But if you do fail, try again. Try something else. I heard something earlier today that said sometimes you have to fail your way to success. And you don't always have to do that, but you have to be in flow if you don't. And right now I don't feel like you are. Because you're stuck in your fear. You're stuck in your head. I hear spirit telling you to follow your heart. So the lesson for January is to follow your heart. And don't always be so scared that there'll be a tower moment. 
so afraid that if you don't know what tower moment means, but don't be so scared that something's going to go wrong and everything's going to fall apart. The world will not come tumbling down on you all the time, okay? Let's see what your Moonology guidance card says. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. You're getting ready to run through some fields and swim in some oceans. Take a deep breath, a deep sigh of relief. Maybe you do when you step out of yourself. When you let go of this person that's never going to be who you want them to be. There, this one could be like a professional project that you were doing that's now completed. Um, it's time to stop fearing the worst. That's exactly what this card means. A tough cycle approaches. It's time for you to stop fearing the worst. Okay? If you were <clears throat> asking a yes or no question just now, I'm not telling you to ask one, but if you were just, just so happen to be asking one in your head a few seconds ago, at about 16.35, the answer is yes. But you're going to have to get out of your own way. You're completed with every bit, with whatever project it was you were doing, and it's time for you to do something bigger. And you're going to have to get out of your own head and stop succumbing to so much fear. From the Orisha, or Orisha Tarot deck. Oh, y'all, these readings, these last few ones are going to be amazing. They're going to be amazing. That's what I'm going to say. Because my voice is just beautiful right now. <laughs> you have the man. I'm going to show you him. If you look at him, he's in the star. A star is one of the most ancient symbols that they're, they've always been there. But it's something that people have always used for guidance. Follow the star. The anatomical position of a man, if drawn out, could resemble a star. The star points in all directions. Or there's a point in all of the directions. So your guidance is coming. Your guidance is already there. You just have to open your eyes and listen to it. You have to have faith. And be inspired. It's a symbol of energy. Like when you think of the star, think of the star of Bethlehem. Even if you're not religious, you follow the star. If you get lost, you find the North Star. There's balance and strength in the stars. And guess what you're made out of? The same thing as the stars. So I want you to remember that, that you are made out of the same thing as the stars. It can be very intense sometimes, trying to figure out which direction to go in. But when you realize that you are all directions, not you're in all directions, but you are all directions. And how to call those things that be not as though they were and know that they're coming. Because you have that faith built up. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful sun card, ten of cups, six of discs day, okay? I want you to follow the star in yourself. Please remember to like, 
share, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you visit thegoodwitch.com. Sages, enjoy your day or night or evening or morning. Enjoy your life. Stop worrying about tower moments that probably not coming. Okay? And if they do come, they won't be that bad. You'll get over it. Shake it off. All right. Peace and love and light from The Good Witch.